31. The question is related to spherical pressure vessel. A spherical pressure vessel of 300 mm diameter with a wall mm thickness, thickness of 8 mm is filled with a fluid at atmospheric pressure. If an additional 5000 mm cube of fluid is pumped into the cylinder, the hoop stress induced in the wall of the sphere is given. So here the additional volume pumped inside can be equal to increase in volume of the shell plus decrease in volume of the fluid. Since the bulk modulus is not mentioned in the question, so we are neglecting the word now, decrease in volume of the fluid. So, we are equating the what now, additional volume of the fluid can be equated to increase in volume of the shell, but if the bulk modulus also given, that is if a compressible fluid the bulk modulus is given, we should also consider the decrease in volume of the fluid is also should be considered now, but in this case the bulk modulus is not mentioned, we are assuming that the fluid as an incompressible fluid and the bulk modulus is going to be 0, so we have to consider only increase in volume of the shell has to be considered now. Increase in volume of shell plus decrease in volume of fluid should be equated to additional volume of fluid pumped into the cylinder. Here assuming the fluid is going to be a by assuming fluid as a incompressible fluid that is bulk modulus equal to infinity decrease in volume of fluid it can be taken as 0. Now, you have to find out the increase in volume of shell, volume of shell should be equated to additional volume of fluid. In a spherical pressure vessel, in a spherical pressure vessel, volumetric strain equal to 3 times the hoop strain the hoop strain is given by PD by 40E on minus mu. Hence, increase in volume of shell
is equal to 3 times the PD by 40 into marginal volume into 1 minus mu. Now, this should be equated to equated to additional volume of the fluid. Additional volume of the fluid is given as 5000 mm cube. Now, by substituting this one given data, then you can find out the pressure. 3, pressure is unknown, diameter of the shell is given as 300. Then volume of the spherical shell will be pi d cube by 6. Thickness of the shell is given as 8 mm. Young's modulus is given as 200 gigapascals. And Poisson's ratio is given as 0.3. So, this should be equated to 5000 mm cube. From this one, the pressure can be will be equal to 3.594 mega Pascals. Then hoop stress will be PD by 40. Then by substituting this given data, we will get it 33.696 mega Pascals. Here only one mistake is likely to be committed by the students will be the decrease in volume of the fluid is going to be calculated by the bulk modulus. To calculate the bulk modulus, they are going to use the Young's modulus and Poisson's ratio given in the question. But the Young's modulus and Poisson's ratio given in the question are related to the what now? Shell material. So you have to take the what now? Bulk modulus of the fluid. Bulk modulus of solid cannot be considered. If the bulk modulus of the fluid is directly given, then you have to consider the what now? Decrease in volume of the fluid. So, we cannot use the what now? Young's modulus and Poisson's ratio of the shell material to calculate the what now? Bulk modulus of the fluid. The, this is a one point should be noted. So, for the given question, the answer will be 33.696 mega Pascals that is a Newton per mm square.